So I gotta do a bit of last minute raid testing and uh, got to check out Old Deer on uh, Mythic Difficulty. So this is a 100% random pug that I joined as a tank. Uh, last minute just picked up the group finder, saw if something was up and uh, joined this group. So the coordination isn't as good as I would like it, but that's to be expected. But we managed to see a bit of the fight at least, uh, not as much as I would have liked, but uh, what you gonna do? So yeah, Mother TM on Mythic. So my first impression of this fight is, oh god, the coordination. This will be fun. So the fight consists of uh, three rooms, and you need to get across to each room with a few people at a time. Every time someone crosses the gate, the blue gate you can see, everyone takes damage and an ad spawns. The ad needs to be tanked, uh, interrupted and eventually killed. If you do not interrupt it, uh, it will cause a wipe. Everyone gets a dot, takes a shit ton of damage and eventually die unless you get some mad healing going on. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you start this fight is her tank mechanic called Sanitizing Strikes. It's just a frontal cone which you can move out of even if you're tanking it. So as soon as she starts casting you just move right out of the way. And as soon as she's done casting Sanitizing Strikes, she's gonna start spawning fire all over the floor. And, well, just move out of it. So when the fire spawns, we move through the gate to the second room. And as soon as we move through the blue gate, everyone starts taking AoE damage and four spirits spawn. Those four spirits will turn into the adds, we stun them, interrupt them and um, kill them. And as we're killing these four adds, you can actually see them start casting Clinging Corruption, which is uh, the ability we need to interrupt. We fudge it up, two other casts go off, everyone gets a nasty dot and the raid just gets decimated from it. So you really need to kill those adds and keep them interrupted. And here we have the uh, winds going off in the second room. So while we're killing the adds, uh, we get blown from one side to the other. And she spawns a couple of beams with a safe spot in between. So you gotta stand there to not get um, cooked, if you will. So we tried a couple uh, different things to deal with the damage when you pass through the gate. One of them was uh, just popping a spirit link to cover both sides so we could just throw more members through. Right now the tuning on uh, the actual damage you take when you pass through the gate was quite low with like spirit link up. So I'm assuming you could send maybe like eight people over with spirit link and aura mastery or something. But we just opted to use spirit link, send five people over and um, damage wasn't that high. So I'm assuming they'll tune that up, otherwise you're just gonna stack defensives and just throw half the raid through. Just go 20 paladins, bubble and run. And this is where the pug part of it got a tad difficult, cause <laughs> no matter how much you try to coordinate a full on pug, it's gonna be difficult. And these raid tests are on a timer, so you only have an hour to test the bosses. Cause you just wanna add you know, stress test a bit and see some of the mechanics and see what everyone feels. So the pug part uh, did make the whole coordination part a uh, tad difficult. Because no matter how much a few of us tried to say uh, only like X, Y and Z crosses now, there's always someone else who went like, yeah, boy, and went over anyways. And then everyone just died. Or we forgot to stun, or someone missed an interrupt, or whatever. So wipes upon wipes upon wipes, which was awesome. But once we started to kind of get a grip on it, we uh, sent over like five people and used Spirit Link to get on both the sides. Uh, it started to go a bit better with the ad part, but then you have some few other mechanics. You have winds going on, uh, going across the room, uh, blowing everyone around and fires that spawns. It makes DPSing, healing and coordinating just that much harder. And then once you get a grip on that and start surviving, well then the other tank dies. The one who tanks the boss right now is, I mean, oh god, the tank damage. I mean granted we're in gear bliss scaled up uh, for this raid, so it's like 360, 365 or something, uh, which is below heroic gear I think so and we didn't have any Aserite traits or stuff like that going on but she hits like like Argus on steroids I tell you that much she just absolutely wrecks the tanks 
So I mean after a while you just run out of cooldowns and shit to press and you just die. So that was also, uh, I mean, she just hits like an absolute truck. As you can see here, I dropped my uh, rune tap for a second. And I mean, the first uh, first two melee swings she does is on a 53-58k. And then once I drop it, she has <laughs> it's 108k melee swing. And I had like, what, 220k HP. So it's like half my HP in just a <laughs> swing. You feel squishy as hell. Probably have been solved with uh, some coordination. I mean, if all the healers were on uh, some kind of voice comm and we could get some rotation on the cooldowns going, we could probably send the tank who was tanking the ads back through and do a tank swap there. Sure, you'd get two more ads by the end of one phase, but uh, wouldn't be that much deal just to rotate tank CDs. I don't know how this will be tuned in the end, but th that was one thing we could have done, but coordinating that was uh, impossible, I tell you. Once everyone is across, all the 20 players are across into the second room, it basically starts over. And the boss takes more damage, and then you gotta do it again. Get everyone across to the third room, and deal with everything. And once there, you, it's kind of a burn phase, because you just gotta get her down uh, fast. And I believe she takes 100% uh, more damage in the third room, so you can just pop your bloodlust and whatever. We popped it early just to try it out. But all in all, it was... Um, I mean, it's a fairly fairly fun fight. It will be a living nightmare to pug. Uh, although I'm assuming you're not gonna pug Mythic, but still the whole coordinating the raid to get across the room to handle all those swaps will be really fun to see pugs <laughs> coordinating. I mean, I assume it will uh, uh, <laughs> break, break a few pugs apart at least. But I mean, uh, the hour I got to test on this fight, it definitely seems fun. Uh, tuning is definitely not where it needs to be. Uh, either that or uh, the tanking just sucked balls. Because, I mean, I tried tanking both the boss. And, I mean, after like a minute, one and a half, maybe two, I didn't clock it. I, I just ran out of stuff to press as a blood, uh, blood DK. It was just you had no runes, no runic powers, no uh, CDs left, no nothing, and you just waited to see that third swing come in and just... <sighs> Death. But yeah, I mean, if we had gone into this with a full guild group, done some research, uh, had some asteroid gear and stuff like that, it would probably have gone a hell of a lot easier, or better at least. But I mean, yeah, it was fun to try it out and to give you my two, three, eight cents on the fight. Uh, so you get a quick look on it as well. I will be ray testing a few other bosses just to get a quick look on um, Well on how they look how they feel and some of the mechanics just to um, mostly for myself But to, I mean if you have any questions about the fight or anything like that Just hit me up in the comments below and I'll give you my well Whatever I know to the to my best extent or to the extent I can yeah, that's uh, that's what I got to see from uh, mother on a mythic difficulty in Oldir, the brand new raid for Battle for Azeroth. So, thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up if you want to see more videos, and I will see you next time.